Hi guys, this is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. It is, and I quote, a little after nine, I think. Actually, it's getting close to 10 a.m. It's 46 degrees, but anyway, here I am. I'm thinking about solar again, and I thought I'd just do a short video and let you know what I found out for me. I live in a 16-foot Coachman Clipper Cadet CFB travel trailer. I've full-time RV'd for over 25 years, probably close to 30. I'm 72 years old, and I like to go boondocking and dry camping and all that other stuff, and I'm not going to run the red light. Nah, 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 nah. And <clears throat> so it requires me to have some solar. I have a Zamp solar suitcase thing that's 120 watts. And I have a 120 amp hour AGM Deep Cycle Series 31 battery, and that pretty much does everything for that I, that I need. And I got me recently, I got me a kilowatt uh, electrical electric monitor that you plug in to the wall, and then you plug the appliance that you want to test or find out how much energy it's using, and it will give you a readout as to how many watts, amps volts whatever and it, it'll also keep it keep it up for a 24 hour period or longer if you choose to and for me i found out that my i have a dometic cf18 refrigerator that i'm currently using as a freezer and over a 24 hour period it uses 180 watts okay that's the readout as of the last 24 hour period and that's using it as a freezer you can't you can use it as a refrigerator and it will use less energy how much less I don't know I'm gonna guess about probably from 180 watts down to 150 or a little less maybe but that's okay I'll use the high number for gauging the solar that I need my solar will put out max 120 watts per hour in good sunlight. So let's just assume that it puts out 90 average during a day. If I use my refrigerator 24 hours, that's 180 watts roughly, plus uh, my fan, my O2 cool fan, that'll bump it up to about 300 if I use it most of the day and if I use my TV for a few hours we're looking at another 50 so right we're at 250 to comfortably 300 watts uh, a day just those three items now inside the RV I also have a 110 volt only refrigerator it's not a two-way three-way whatever even though my rv is a 2018 it came with a 110 volt refrigerator with no freezer which is fine that's what i wanted and that's what i got and uh, and it uses 200 the the 120 watt or tw excuse me 120 volt only refrigerator uses 200 watts in a 24 hour period now how much it uses on startup i don't know but if you tripled uh, it uses 45 watts when it's running so i'm assuming that if you triple that say let's just say it uses 200 watts on startup so i would need an inverter that would handle that draw on the start to run that refrigerator and then i have on the rv i have a 75 amp hour lead acid battery group 27 that I can use to run that refrigerator and the fan the max air max fan that I have inst installed in the bathroom area it's a great fan it's a 10 speed it'll bring air in or out and it uses it very very little energy on the first three speeds so to power that I can use that battery but what I'm planning on doing is I will get two if I can if they'll fit I want to get two golf cart batteries 
they're you know they're deep cycled and I'll get the AGM types that are sealed so I, I don't want lead acid batteries and then I'll get a Renergy 100 watt portable package to charge that battery and then that way I have all the conveniences just like I'm at home right now I can run the refrigerator the 110 volt or 120 whatever you call it a refrigerator uh, 24 hours a day seven days a week I can run my max air fan anytime I choose to and I'll have plenty of freezer space for stuff I want to keep frozen or below 30 anyway and that will make it comfortable. What I look at now, uh, when I go boondocking, dry camping, dispersed camping, whatever you want to call it, is I want to be comfortable, okay? I mean, I do, I'm 72 years old. I don't want to be out there. I mean, I've done the roughing it. I went camping in a Toyota Prius for off and on for five years. That's tough, okay? I mean, it, you know, it was okay. It was fun. It was easy. I, at the time I was doing it, I thought it was the greatest thing since fried chicken. But as I got a little older, uh, it occurred to me that I, you know, I, I, a little more space would be nice. And so what I did then was I bought this truck, this Ram pickup, with with it in mind that if the camper top camping didn't work out, then I would go to a small travel truck. But anyway, I tried to camp in the, with the camper top. We called it the White House, but it's a Lear camper top on a 2017 Ram pickup. And I had the... Uh, uh, Dometic CF-18 refrigerator and the solar and I ran it ran the refrigerator 24 hours a day and I ran the fan quite a bit charged my cell phone laptop etc and the battery was uh, never below 75 percent I don't think because it would only take three hours and it was fully charged in good sunlight in good sunlight so again, what, what I'm looking at now is if I'm going to go boondocking next year, uh, I want to do it comfortably. So that's my direction now. Now that I know where I'm at, because uh, it looks like with the uh, using the ZAMP to power the ZAMP portable suitcase thing, the 120 watt panels or 120 watt portable solar to charge the 120 amp hour. AGM battery that would be used then to power the refrigerator, the possibly the O2 cool fan, the television, my Google Home device if I use it much, and the, t the TV I probably won't use much either because I can use my laptop and watch all kinds of stuff and or my smartphone in the same way. So I may not use that very much. But even if I did, that would be a total energy consumption on that side for those items of around 300 to 350 watts which would be comfortably maintained by that 120 watt portable solar uh, panel uh, so that takes care of that and then for the RV part uh, which all of this again all of that would be inside the RV of course but then I'd have a separate power system for powering the 110 volt 120 volt, whatever it is, uh, refrigerator using a, an inverter, a pure sine wave inverter, so it doesn't damage it. And, and also the Max Air vent fan, which, you know, if I use the Max Air vent fan, then I don't need to use the O2 cool fan, O2 cool 10 inch 12 volt fan. Uh, may, maybe, it depends on how warm it is wherever I am. I can always move if it's too warm but that battery I have that came with the RV again it's a 75 amp hour group 27 lead acid battery and uh, it may not be enough battery because I think on the, if I use that refrigerator 24 hours a day and it draws 200 watts the max air fan is going to draw if I use a lot another 100 watts uh, as for lighting and so forth inside the RV it's all LED lighting so that would be a minimal let's add another 50 watts for that so we're looking at two say 250 watts there so uh, that
that might be a little bit much for that battery. I don't know. I don't know if it'll see much energy in the store. I have to check. But I believe that'll all work out comfortably. But I'm looking at getting <laughs> probably be my, my next purchase, a major purchase, I guess you'd say. Uh, it'll, it, well, it depends. I need to sell my RV that I have for sale first. I've got a 2013 Jayco J Flight 26 bunkhouse model. It's called 26BH, and uh, it's great shape. But anyway, if you're interested in it, leave a comment. I'll get back with you. But but anyway, that'd probably be my next major purchase is, is to go with. Why don't I go back with Sam? There is pretty pricey. I'll have to look. I, I mean, the prices may have come down now. But I don't want to spend a whole lot. But we'll see. But that, to be comfortable, that's what my objective is. I mean, when I park for a few days, whether it's a week or two weeks, uh, I want to be comfortable. I, I don't want to be fighting it anymore <clears throat> and wondering if I have enough solar or if that cloud comes by. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Or if it's cloudy one day, I don't want to be that concerned about it. <clears throat> So that's why I'm making these changes. But anyway, also, I'll mention this. I am an Amazon affiliate. I need to mention that. And if you uh, use the link in the description to Amazon and buy anything, I get a small commission, which helps. And if you choose to use the link and go to Amazon, well, then do so. If not, don't worry about it. I'll leave a link there to that the kilowatt device or or I'll just leave one link. I may just leave a link to some solar portable stuff and then, you know then you can go anywhere you are. I'll just leave a link to generally Amazon then you can go check out whatever you want to check. The measuring device that I have to measure the watt usage it's called a kilowatt three words kill a watt. It's a P4400 model it costs about $23 and if you're going to have solar uh, you need one because you need to know uh, how many watts you use in a day for all the things that you plan on using. Because once you know your total wattage, you got to start, in my opinion. And I'll probably get a little feedback on that. Because there's a lot of variables in solar, but if you know your total wattage consumption in a 24-hour period, then you're good. You're, it's a good place to start. But anyway, we're in Kingsland, Texas now. And uh, it's a small little unincorporated community in Central Texas where I live. And I'm going to check the mail. Okay, I've got some cards. I need to do a mail call. And I'll do that this afternoon. And I'll post this video too. But for you guys that are looking at solar and uh, running a Dometic CF18 12 over refrigerator and or another type of refrigerator. The refrigerator I have in my RV is a 3.1 cubic foot refrigerator. 120 only or whatever it is, 120 volts only. It's not, doesn't run on propane or anything else. And, uh, but they, they consume about the same amount of energy in a 24 hour period, almost exactly. And I'm pleased with that. So that means, man, why would I want to run them both when I could get by with the, uh, uh, I'm not gonna run this one either, nah, 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 nah. Um, why would I run them both when I could get by with just the Dometic CF-18? Well, I can, but it, you know, there's there's no way, I don't have a freezer. Uh, you can't run the Dometic as a freezer and a refrigerator. It's one or the other. So uh, I would be without a freezer, and I do like to have a freezer because I like to have uh, some frozen fruit, frozen veggies and stuff because they stay fresh for a long period of time, and I still want to eat healthy while I'm boondocking because I may be gone for a few months I hope and uh, so anyway we're here at the post office now in Kingsland Texas on a Saturday morning so but yeah I just again I'm 72 I just want to be comfortable so I'm probably going to add some solar and it'll probably cost me with the batteries and everything I'm budgeting $800 might be able to get it for less but the batteries if I go with the uh, golf cart batteries which I plan to do is do the two six volt in parallel or whatever you call it and uh, of course the uh, Renergy system will have its own controller the thing I don't like about the Renergy system is number one I don't think it's the same quality as the ZAMP and number two the controller on the Renergy suitcase portable system 
is is I'm told it's not waterproof while on the Zamp it is and you know you could be gone or out somewhere and some rain come and you'd ruin a unit but anyway 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 from Central Texas USA this is Rusty 78609 just giving you a heads up here and y'all have a great day thumbs up adios bye 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 whatever you want whenever you choose but if you think about it use the Amazon link it helps and I appreciate it. And I am an Amazon affiliate. I didn't realize I was supposed to tell everybody. I've been, I've been doing it anyway, but according to the Amazon affiliate guidelines, I'm supposed to do that. So from now on, I will do it in every video. So get ready for it. But anyway, guys, and what else? Drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day. It won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. And take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose deeply. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out through your mouth. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure and lowering your blood pressure is good for you anywhere in the whole world. So having said that guys from Central Texas, USA, keep your health because we're going to go somewhere, I hope. Anyway, enjoy. Adios.